I'll share a, a funny story. The house that we're talking about, the house I live in now, was a, about two or three years old when we bought it. Not only does it have a basement that was actually too cool, the front of the house has a bedroom that we use for a home office that has windows facing the south. And guess what? It's it was always too hot. Steaming you know, hot. Yes. The, the, oh, it just gets so hot. The Previous owners to our home put solar film on all the windows on the back side of the house. They put on this in the office room that gets too hot in the summertime, they put the heaviest insulated shades they could find. So now we have a nice dark room. I have, for one, the air conditioner wasn't sized properly. I zoned it. I have sealed it. And there is a thermostat in that front room now, and you can make that the coolest room in the summertime in the entire house. Blowing and I go, how much did the folks pay? That solar film and heavy drapes are not cheap. You know, it's no way to live like either. They they did all the wrong things, or they did all the things that really. Well, they just didn't know. Yeah. They didn't know. Hey, Dad, today I thought that we could talk about fixing hot and cold spots in your house and also specifically your basement. Your basement seems to be the biggest issue mm -hmm. from low tech options to higher tech options. We can fix it. We can <laughs> fix it. Every register typically uh, has a damper behind it where you can open and close it. So you can do some uh, fairly effective adjusting of airflow. Uh, by simply adjusting that that uh, register damper. So just let's just make sure you do have the capability of heating or cooling that space. And so that's the first thing. The other thing is, if most people probably go and check right now, probably every register, the damper inside that register is wide open for most people. What we want to mm -hmm. do is we want to direct air to that master bedroom, or we want to direct air down to the basement. So what we want to do is experiment with adjusting the airflow in the areas that are comfortable. Can I, can I cut the airflow down and still remain comfortable up there? And uh, because anytime we curtail the air in those areas and can still be comfortable, we're going to force that air to go someplace else. One product that we do, and I don't want turn this into a, a, a sales pitch, but mm -hmm. duct leakage is huge. In our area, we typically find 30, 40% duct leakage. And so here we are, we're manipulating the air using these registers, that sort of thing, and know that 30 or 40% of that air is going someplace that we don't know where it's at. That's not a good thing. So sealing your duct work, either just manually sealing your duct work where you can, or or actually doing a professional job where we can reduce that leakage to next to nil. And we know we're delivering what air we have. We know where it's going. Now, you mentioned the downstairs. You said a lot of people are inquiring about how to make that basement more comfortable. Now, mm -hmm. the basement's going to have some real challenges here uh, because of, one, simply the load needed down there. You know, it's it's uh, in the wintertime, it's typically cooler. So certainly in the summertime, it's cooler down there. So in the summertime, we rarely need to put any air down there at all. And in the wintertime, we probably have more of a demand down there than we do upstairs where the thermostat is. And so mm -hmm. that's where it becomes helpful to adjust the dampers all throughout the house so we can force more air downstairs when the unit is actually running. Th that would be your first, doesn't cost me anything. Let's see what kind of difference I can mm -hmm. make just by simply adjusting all the registers throughout the house. Now, at my house, I have a, a zoning system. So I've got one furnace and one air conditioner. However, I've got a thermostat down in the lower level. And so, yes, we can. Uh, I can make uh, my basement or lower level the warmest area in the entire house uh, simply by adjusting a thermostat down there. And I've got a thermostat down there where if, if we're requiring heat down in that lower level, it will actually shut the airflow off to the other areas of the home and run the furnace just in that one designated area. So that's why we can go down in the evening time on a cool winter evening and uh, watch a movie. We mm -hmm. can actually make it the warm place in the house, uh, not the not the cold space. Is that is a zoning like something that you attach to your system or does it right. have to be installed that Zoning way? Zoning is, is going to be, uh, that's kind of when you said we're going to go from the simplest, now we're going to the most complex. Oh, yeah. Okay. Zoning means we put a control board in, we add thermostats. It's going to, how how much we can split your house up is going to be kind of dependent on the ductwork, but there, 
has not been a house yet that we haven't been able to improve. But yes, we have, instead of one thermostat uh, at my house, I have, what, three, four. I've got four <laughs> thermostats at my house. So any one of those thermostats can actually bring on the furnace or the air conditioner and redirect all the airflow to where we want it to go. So that requires uh, dampers in the ductwork. Uh, that requires a control panel that kind of coordinates all these thermostats and the heating and cooling equipment, but it's very possible and oh my gosh, it's uh, it's wonderful. And now in between there, I mentioned the, the sealing of the ductwork. Typically when we are sealing people's ductwork, it is because there's some place uncomfortable. That master bedroom of all places, the master bedroom uh, is always too hot in the summertime or the um, the basement rec room is freezing cold in the summertime. The freezing uh, cold basement in the summer is what I see a lot. Is just oh, like yeah. it is a complete ice box. Okay, so let's think about that. Here, here we have a space that really does not need any air conditioning to be comfortable. So believe it or not, any leakage at all is going to make it too cold down there. Where the furnace is, isn't that the most common place to have some pretty big leaks? Uh, yeah, it, yeah. Like, I had good, very good friends that were in the process of finishing their basement, and I, I gave them some sealant, a bucket of sealant that we use, and she did did this herself, and she goes, I can't believe the air leakies that she corrected herself. Many times you get up in the the floor joists, you know, above your basement space, and just look around, just look around with the blower on, and you'll see little cobwebs blowing, things like that, that there is air movement going on in the joist spaces above that uh, basement room. So understand our, our aero seal process, we can, even after you finish the space, we can seal the ductwork. But if you're wanting to do it manually, let's do it before it's behind sheetrock rather than after it's behind sheetrock. The other thing that we haven't talked about, you actually have some dampers in the ductwork itself. If you look at most duct systems with a little bit of uh, detective work, you sometimes you can identify, for instance, there is one main trunk that goes to the second floor of a home, or there's a primary designated duct that goes to the left side or the right side of the home. So there are some dampers around your furnace ductwork area downstairs that we can adjust to globally kind of cut down air to certain areas of the homes. And I'll tell you, you know, typically it's very popular, a, a two-story house. Typically in the summertime, common complaint is the upstairs is too warm several degrees warmer upstairs and the the lower level the main level of the home is always too cool or cooler than it needs to be you can take one stab at it and you typically are going to be pretty doggone close and that is if you've got a two-story home if i could get all the air going upstairs and cut down the air going to the main level as much as possible, I'm gonna greatly improve the comfort in the house. So and you do that just by putting in an internal damper into the ductwork? You can do it in the dampers in the ductwork, or you can do it like how I said, uh, close closing off, off all the registers. Individual mm -hmm. registers, you know, it's it's always a fun one. Because some is still gonna get through. Oh, it's, yeah, oh yeah. yeah, absolutely, so. absolutely. And most two-story homes in our area, this is always an interesting one. And whenever I bring this up with a homeowner, they go, you know, you're right. And that is, if you look at most downstairs restrooms, you main level restrooms, this is a two-story, traditional two-story house. The downstairs restroom is getting more airflow than the master bedroom upstairs. Think about where typically the furnace is placed in the home, in the basement. And where is that bathroom downstairs? Directly it's, above it. <laughs> yeah, it's directly yeah. above. You're right. It's like in the center. So yeah, you usually have airflow that's going to blow the toilet paper off the roll yeah. in the downstairs bathroom. And nobody cares about that room. It yeah. really doesn't need any air conditioning. So mm -hmm. shut that register off. So there's lots of little tricks like that. But uh, think about the importance sure. of the duct sealants. So now mm -hmm. here we are. We're manipulating the airflow in the ductwork. We're closing off registers or opening other registers up. We're increasing the static pressure in that duct. And so if there is a leak, guess what? It's going to leak more. You right. know, so the importance of sealing those leaks up because we need that air. We're leaking enough air to cool that master bedroom upstairs. Right. Well, thanks, Dad. Very good.